Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a non-bingo rack. Is it bad enough to change? Well, if opponent changes, it may be, and opponent does. So what's the best I can do? Not very much. I'd like to get rid of the W, and I'm not seeing any way of doing that. So let me change. And I'll keep rids. Well, I was hoping to be a bit closer to a bingo than this. Not seeing a seven. And also not seeing an eight. However, this is a better rack than my initial one. So I could play RYU to sort the rack out. Which does play here for 25. Is this the best spot? Y can also go underneath the K. Let me see what this is like. This is also 25. And KY takes an S in front. I've got one, so I'm minded to prefer this. But is there an even better play? I don't think so. I'm just not seeing any way of combining these tiles to overlap K and B. So I am going with this. Now, this looks much nicer. I have Aldrin's. That plays in column 11. Andro G. So will that remain available? Theoretically, it would be possible to block both, but unlikely. And if both remain available, column 11 is going to score a lot more. Kobo only takes an S after it. I don't think Goldrins has an anagram. Okay, Alp takes an A, H and S. Wow, I'm, I've just noticed that Aldrin's in both row K and column 11. Place an A next to a triple letter square, where a J or a Z could score really well. But I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yeah. The only thing I could do about that would be to play in row G, placing an A in column 1. Well, this is a lesser evil. Wow, another... Grimish rack in some ways. I think initially, because these are all bingoy tiles, my hopes were raised, but I think the duplicates have scuppered my bingo prospects. So I have season plus an A. Seasonal! Good grief! I do have a playable bingo at the moment. Will that remain available? A spot of very good fortune if it does. Now, what about alternative bingos? Well, certainly not seeing a 7. So what about the D and the R? Nothing with the D comes to mind. R looks like it goes well with this rack. But not seeing anything. Column 12, hot-ish. But the run of three consonants... I think, inhibits parallel plays. Row K, I think, is a more attractive option. And maybe that would be somewhere I could play if seasonal is blocked. Yeah, I've got Aeon or Aeons running all the way under POW. Now, opponent taking a while with their play. Do they have a bingo? I have a slender lead, just 60 points. Now, I hadn't considered an I. Not seeing anything. I'm playing this game outside of my usual schedule. I'm off to a big Scrabble tournament tomorrow. Three-day tournament in Milton Keynes in England, the MGI Classic. 
the first tournament of its kind run by the organisers. It's a big international tournament. Players are flying in from America and Australia and other countries. So super exciting stuff. And therefore, I'm playing this match on Friday afternoon. I've taken the afternoon off work to record it. Now, look at this. Seasonal remains available. In fact, scores more because of this D. So seasonal for 63. And another poor peck. Of course, I have no entitlement to draw well with random tiles, but one hopes and manifests in vain on this occasion. So what am I going to do with this? Tricky. Perfui is good, which scores nicely in row D, but triple E is rarely the rack leave of an optimal play. Through an R, I would have Prayif. That does play in row E for a dismal score. Wow, Seasonals provides another super hot J and Z spot. I don't seem to be able to stop doing that. Now, Pafui plays in row B. And although I express negative sentiments about triplicate E, every rack leave has its value and Pafui scores really well and takes out column 8. Will that remain available? Nice spot for the Q next to this I. Oh, an opponent plays the Q, 70 points. Very nice. And there goes the first of the blanks. Let me see what this scores. 38 points, that's pretty decent. Wow, and a ton of ease to come. I'll be lucky to dodge all of them. But this is the best I've seen. And I do dodge drawing further ease. And the M's will help me get rid of them or reduce them. And E by itself is a good tile. So I have meme on my rack. Nowhere for that. E doesn't go to the right of an S. Which also impacts row D plays. IO doesn't take anything in front that I've got. Opponent plays there. Dagger only takes an S. So I'm drawn to this triple word square. My E does go there. And why don't I do this? I can play Mime for 38. Big score. Is there anything better in this spot? I don't think so. It's stopping opponent playing in column 15. Mime takes D, O, R and S. But this isn't a super tight board. Wow, I only lead by 40 points. I thought my back-to-back -back bingos would have done better than that. But 38 for Mime is pretty good. And this looks pretty good. All bingoy tiles, slightly E heavy. So not seeing a seven. Where are the floaters? There's S. Not seeing anything. There's R. No. And I think that's it. So what can I do with this rack? I don't particularly like keeping L with the R. And I'd like to do something about these E's. So a play, a play of Eel or Lee would sort the rack out, but it's not going to score very well. PE takes an O in front. I've got one. Do I have any five letter plays ending in O? No, I don't. I would need two O's for rodeo and redo isn't long enough. No A for Alper. Still one blank to come, only 40 tiles in the bag. No I for QI. Now I do have a D for mimed. 
So I could play leered in that spot. 26 points, turning over tiles, scoring well. Keeping OE, which isn't a good rack leave. Well, I could play leered with burning all three E's. There's still five to come. But sometimes when that happens, you don't draw another E for the rest of the game. And you feel profligate. So, tied for 26, new floater in the T. I've got the telly prefix, not seeing anything. Now, there could be a nice scoring spot underneath tied because fad takes E and O. So, I could play law for 28. Why don't I try this? All the 33. That's nice. And I'm holding back the D. Because I can't add it to all. But it does go on the end of fade. So that might be a scoring spot I can use. So this isn't a terrible rack leave. Double E is okay. And D goes well with E. And 33 points is pretty decent. I'm going with this. Now, this does look nice. And just pause 37 for opponent. Get rid of U, V and J. And my lead just 40 points. 14 minutes on the clock, 13 on opponents. So, is eluated good? Am I making that up? It does play if it's good because of mimed. I don't think it is. No. Does it have an anagram? I don't think so. So let me consider the floaters, and I think they're mainly the floaters in Juvie. So J, no. What about the U? Unlikely. V. No, so I'm not seeing a bingo here, and this is a tricky rack because they're all bingoy tiles. So what but it's not they're not fantastically bingoy tiles. I don't have an S or a blank or indeed an R. Remaining pool looks fairly balanced. Let me count the vowels. Twelve out of thirty-four, so vowel dry, but the vowels that are available are are the bingoy ones, A and D. Does eluated have an anagram? I don't think so. Any other lanes I've overlooked? Still no I for QI. But I do have a D. What about playing eluted? I am retaining A vowel, so even though the bag is dry, I think there's a good chance of drawing at least one vowel. This is turning over tiles. It's scoring well, 30 points. It's expediting the end of the game. It's increasing my chances of drawing a blank. All the S's are gone. And still the Z and the X to come, which could be big tiles. And I'm... Taking out a bingo lane of opponent bingos in row M. They may be getting a face value bingo. Yep, I am going with this. Okay, well, I didn't need to worry about not drawing a vowel. I've drawn three of them. Row K might be hotish. Oh, wow, opponent does bingo and it's a 92 point play. Ouch. So, I now trail. But opponent has stuck a vowel under a double letter square. So, I have whale, and this is a nice rack leave in the context of a vowel dry bag and some heavy tiles which go well with constant, with, go well with vowels. Now, 
Now, this is the first play I thought of. Is it the best? Wow, Tachina, really nice. Not quite sure how it managed to soar so much. It wasn't a double-double. Yeah, I am going with this. Wow, pretty good. I have another. Don't think that plays. Wow, look at this beautiful S lane. But all the blanks and all the S's have been played. So does this rack make anything with an E? Don't think so. What about an L? No. J. No. U. Not feeling good about this. How about the V? I have the over prefix. But not enough space for an eight-letter play beginning with that. I not available. So I don't have a bingo. I do have the tiniest of leads, just 14 points. But with the X and Z out there, that could well vanish. Now, Pennant does play the Z, fortunately for only 30 points. Doesn't provide anything. Have I overlooked any lanes for another? Out not available as a prefix. Again, for lack of space. Can I score off the J? Well, not well in row K because there are no two-letter V plays. I could play Jato. But only 24 points, it would be nice to score more. I do have the H, which is a good scoring tile. 10 minutes on my clock. So is there anywhere good for the H? I don't think so. Let me see what this scores. Row for 19, and this is keeping a pretty decent rack. There are still bingo lanes in two spots of the board, albeit with a little overlap. 19 points, which is less than Jarto scored. Why was I so reluctant to play Jarto? Well, I guess this is a more bingoy rack leave. Let me just pause. Does this really make nothing with a U? Not seeing it. I think I wanted to play off the H because look, F, V, X and Y all to come. Far more manageable with only a limited number of scoring tiles on your rack. Row isn't denying opponent anything. What about hover? 30 points, well, that's got to be a better play got to be a better play not providing very much row h opponent's going to struggle to put a big tile in row h this rack leave goes well with the e yep i am going with this oh wow not a good pick i retained an n and draw drew two more I do have the X. Is there a way of playing it? And opponent had looks like they had all one point tiles. So I trail by ten. The bag is empty. Can I go out in two? Can I win? That is that is a struggle. This is the first triplicate I've had all all game. Oh, I thought for a moment I had next in row N, but U-N-E not good. Through an O, I would have non-tax. I don't think opponents provided anything great for me. Just 
Just looking for any big plays that can play through this E, and I'm not seeing any. Seven minutes on my clock. Where can the X play? So I don't have anything which goes under UN, and I don't have anything beginning with X, so there's literally nothing there. So I have two issues. I have the N's and I have the X. Interesting. Well, this scores only 14 points, but I may be able to go out with A double N. I've got An and Tun. Yeah, and Nan and Tan. So I could go out with this, but the score is dismal. And I don't think it's going to be enough. This is only going to take me to 381, a lead of four. Surely opponents going to be able to get about 30 points. And with count back in my favour, opponent, I would say, is looking at a 20-point gain. So I don't think that's best. Six minutes on my clock. What am I missing? There must be something here. Rex is good. Tex is good. Just not having any plays which work. Oh, I have, well, I have Axe here, but I'm not going to go out with this. An opponent's going to score off the, off the A. But I'm still looking for a better X spot. What about in eight? 21 points. Can I go out with XN? I would need an I for Nix or an O for Nox. No. No O for Zenon. Still five minutes on my clock. I don't think I have any option but to use that time looking for a, a better bingo. A better play, rather. So, what about tax? 26 points. The opponent just plays far and X. Have I really considered all options for Annex? That's the obvious play for sorting the rack out. And I do have that in row O. It just doesn't score very much. If I play Nan here, well, I was going to say I'm setting up a play, but I'm not. I don't have two vowels. Out eat only takes an S. What about extant 30 points? Can I go out with double N? Lin is good. I have in, ten, and er. So I think this is the f three minutes on my clock. This this is possibly the play. It's 30 points. So is this the play? Extant 30 points. That would take me to 397. I lead by 20. 
I'm threatening in. For 15. So that would take me to 30, a 35 point lead. Plus count back. What's the worst opponent can do in column one? Do they have any two letter plays ending with I? No, apart from AI, and that keeps a ton of a ton of big tiles. So what are, what can they do in column one? Have they got any big plays? 50, 40 or 50 point plays? I don't think so. I think this might do the job. Famous last words. I am going with this. So if a pennant plays in column one, I've got in, ten and er. Uh. If they block in, ten and er, uh, then I do have lin. If a pennant doesn't spot lin, they may think that column five is my only out. Let me spend my remaining time looking for another end spot. There's none through the U of acquires. Pound is good, but that's only one N. Wow, I, th I think extant took me a while to see because it just feels so wrong to place a vowel in the middle of column one when opponents got big tiles. But looking at these tiles, what can they do? It's difficult. They would need to get a big tile on the double letter square. And they've got three of them. And any which aren't played count in my favour. Wow, that move of extant took me a long time to play, but it's the only one, I think, which gave, gave me any chance of winning. But... Is it winning enough? The opponent's got a lot of time to find their best play. Do they have anything in... Ah, our opponent's blocking. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So they're blocking in only 16 points. I actually lead and I'm now going out with Lynn. Still one minute, so let me just do a squiz from left to right and then up and down for double N plays. That's the acrosses, not seeing anything apart from none. Nope is good. Yeah. So, Lin for four. And the final score, 393 for the opponent, 423 for me, a winning margin of 30 points. So, a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, I really thought that was a lost game. I wonder how many plays other than Extant could have won. So, opponent to go first, plays, changes, my rack, yeah, I couldn't see anything better than rid, and I think changing is better than that. Now, opponent with a pretty grim rack after changing, plays Kobo, Durry, that's nice, I3, yeah, sticking floaters in the open, providing access to triple word square, but sorting the rack out. I get three fewer points and a better rack leave. I prefer my play. No floaters. Opponent with the first blank. They play POW. And I get the first bingo with Aldrin's and B11 scores most. But three other spots. G1. Yeah, that's making Sky. K2. Yeah, that's sticking an A under this triple letter square. And G9, that's the one I didn't consider. G9, ah yes, that's running across the top of Kobo, sticking an S in column 15. So I like my play. 
Opponent's rack, Vile Dry, plays Dagger. And I have Seasonal, and that's the only bingo, so delighted to spot that. With S's, you naturally think of plurals, but this was an example where the S's appear in the first half of the word. And I have a 100-point lead. Not for long, great bingo by opponent of Acquires. Could have got 20 more points with K2 Cirques. Yep, Cirques and Alps. Now, this was a bit of a horror show. However, 38 points on offer in row B. So, delighted to take those. And my lead has been restored to about 70. 30 for opponent. And now I have mime for 38. These 30... These plays in the high 30s are really helpful. They're like half a bingo. And they help, help to maintain a lead if you've got one. Opponent plays Tide. Phew, no missed bingo here. I play all for 33. But E5. Oh, Dory, that's nice. Fractionally better rack leave than, than all. And one more point. Opponent plays Juvie. Now, I wanted to play Eluated. Annoyingly, it wasn't good. And there are no playable bingos. So I play eluted for 30, and I like that. And opponent liked it even more because they got Tachina down for 92. That transformed the game from having a healthy bingo's lead. I now trail by 20. So I play whale for 33. Yeah, and I think I, I prefer that to Jowler because I think this is a really hot spot with a Z unplayed. Now, as it stands, opponent would not have had a big Z A play, but they would have had Fez and Zar. So, opponent's rack. They have they played Zig. They could have played Fez K five, if and re. So I have another. I didn't see a bingo. Oh, I thought these were three bingos at first. They're not. So I play hover for 30, but N2. Anethol getting the H tripled and enthrall. Yeah, enthrall is nice. Doesn't put a vowel over this double letter square. So I think enthrall. Well, no, I think anethol. 38 points, that's a big score. However, it is only eight more points than I got for Hover, and Hover provides nothing, so I don't think Hover was massively behind, if at all. So, opponent played out eat from this rack, holding on to the F. Interesting. And this is where I thought my goose was cooked. I was ruining the fact that I'd drawn three Ns, couldn't see anywhere great for the X. However, Extant was playable, and I did need to go out in two. Opponent's got three big scoring tiles. If opponent has two plays, then they're going to use up all of those. So I was looking for an out in two. How many of these rack leaves offer that only Extant? Now, does opponent have a win? K1 favour for 36 points, 413. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Opponent would only lead by 16, and then I have in for about that plus count back. So, opponent cannot win. They play Fate, and Lin for four was best. So, super exciting game. I established a good lead. Opponent came right back into it, and indeed led by 20. I then had a horror show rack of three N's and an X, was facing defeat in the face, and then I think the only play which gave me winning chances was extant and as it turned out that was enough to get me over the line so super exciting stuff many thanks to opponent for a good battle i hope you enjoyed watching that game like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time mm -hmm.